Last time on Sailing Zatara. Right before the level four lockdown here in New Zealand, we escaped the city and sailed to Great Barrier Island, dropped anchor and settled in for four weeks of self-isolation. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They told us off the line, but I just let it float away yeah, I'll let it float away I'll let it float away I'll let it float away Float away, float away Yep, this is the last one we have. Get some more tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow we can go to the store. And I had sent you, I had sent the lady an email list. Was told to email what we needed, and she would gather it. Yeah. Lovely. There goes the cream cheese. Yeah. Shot. So we're gonna go try to dump trash. The lady said we could come by today and buy the bags that we put trash in or rubbish and try to dump some rubbish. The boys cleaned up yesterday, they got a bunch of trash here, and then this little locker down here is full of trash, probably four or five bags. What do you wanna take first? Take it all, we'll take it all, we'll get rid of it all. Okay, Finn, help us load up the trash, please. We use too much trash though, we use too much trash. Well, we need to start separating. Yeah, well, when we plan on a crossing, we don't buy a bunch of plastic stuff, is that it? That's all the trash? Yep. That is a bunch of trash. Is that not a bunch of trash? Fantastic. So tomorrow we're going to go to the store and get groceries. I placed an order with um, a nice lady there. She prefers to place the order and she'll gather it and then they um, give it to us. Bye Jack. You're amazing. I dare you to dive in right now. Today is Thursday and we had trash to dump so you have to buy these bags and put your trash in the bags it was just kind of I think proves that you paid to dump your trash is really all and so uh, that's what we're doing hey what is that look at that thing oh it's just some kind of a bird yeah, it's, a, it's a parrot uh, it's a parrot type thing a macaw or yeah Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. So what's interesting to me is that life during all this virus is not much different than how we normally live on our boat. We have to figure out where to dump trash and where to get provisions and rather be out here than be in the marinas. Yeah, definitely. Mar marinas would suck. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard they're stuck in the marinas. You're not allowed to you're allowed to walk a little bit, but they're pretty strict on their uh regulations and yeah I'd be worried about everybody tattletelling on me all the time got our bags they were four dollars a bag which is four New Zealand dollars which is like two, two bucks two fifty two three two fifty yeah oh yeah two fifty yeah Ben. Good. 
Dennis twice your age. Three times your age. Those are essentials. Essentials. Um, All right. I got a few more things here. But. I'd found a Facebook group for the island and read that to ensure we received the stables we wanted, we should email our order in prior to their Wednesday shipment from the mainland. So I did that and she had my box of groceries ready for pickup. However, we were some of the last shoppers of the day today, so we were allowed to both go into the store and browse and grab a few other things we wanted. I usually buy in bulk and grab three or four of whatever it is I'm buying, but since we were trying to be sensitive to the other folks on the island, we only grabbed one or two of what we needed. Okay, we got everything, babe? Thank you so much. See ya. Take care. COVID-19 is affecting millions of people across the world. But luckily for us cruisers, we're already accustomed to rationing and we know full well the struggle to find toilet paper. That was 300 New Zealand dollars, which is about what, 150? Yeah. 160 US dollars and that was a lot of food. More than I thought we'd get. And I got some necessities. He's a little bit of junk food. We don't buy beer and cigarettes, so that's is my this is my vice. It's a little more full. Aww. <laughs> it's been a while since we've had sugar, <laughs> and I know, oh. and, and it's just you know they're bad for you. But I don't know about them, but it just tastes so bad. <laughs> Stay safe. Wash your hands, and uh, try not to self isolate. <laughs> Thank you. 
Shut up. And, and I tell everybody what you're doing. People want to know what you're doing and where you're at and why you're not on the boat. Well, the boat was its own kind of quarantine, and now <laughs> I'm in a different kind of quarantine. Look at that. She's got a large tray. I just got my large tray. Yay. Oh, sweet. Um, we're just chilling. Everyone's who, who is that? Who is that beautiful girlfriend. young lady next to you there? This young woman? That is Annette. I, I am. I'm 39. She's again. 39. What? Again. Wow. Yes, 39. That's Keith's yeah, mom. 29. Oh, is it 29? 39. She's so young, she doesn't even know her own age. Exactly. <laughs> That's called dementia, woman. <laughs> 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 That's kind of funny. You got a whammy, I'm telling you. A whammy. Finally. One, two, two, one. What you are doing are filming. I know, I know, I know. One and... Is it wrong to go for ones? Is that embarrassing? I mean, what do you think dad is? No. Oh, I just dissed my own dad. All right, now we're going for threes. I got two of them. Yeah. Yo. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not touching them. I got a witness here. I got a, a three and a three and a three and a three and a three. And, a three. No. Oh. and I got it on film too. I'm filming. So if you need proof, this proof is in the pudding. Wait, what? Yeah. You never heard that? Boom. All right, Anna. What happened? Oh, Whoa. Lord! You got, oh my wow. gosh! Oh. <laughs> Holy yeah. crap! Imagine if it just fell Wow! Fell Kingy, right here! So, is that a good morning or is that the only one you got? No, we got some snapper too. Yeah. yeah? We got a scorpion fish. Yeah. So, it was a good fishing morning. I guess you decided not to get fuel. Yeah, I get it. Store is closed. Fuel is closed. They're closed tomorrow, aren't they? Are they open? Probably. No, it's Sunday. I'm sure they're closed. So the guys did catch some snapper yesterday, and so I'm cooking it up today for fish tacos. And you saw that giant one that he uh, just caught, so I guess he'll be filleting that later. I made some uh, pico de gallo, which is all the cilantro I had left. We throw some fish on a corn tortilla, put some pico de gallo on it, a little bit of cheese, and it's good. That's really good. All right, no, I'll save that one. I doubt it would fit. Okay. Save. What about down there? Throw it in that orange one out there. I love you, Mom. Bye. Love you, bye. We'll be back. We're going to dump some trash and get some more groceries if we can. Oh, that's good. Okay, more necessities and more trash bags. Hey guys, welcome to this week's edition of the Q&A and we really appreciate everybody tuning in. It's some tough times out there in the world right now with uh, COVID-19 running around and, and a lot of tragic things and our hearts go once again go out to everybody out there who's suffering from this horrible, horrible virus that's going around the world. Well, with that being said, let's jump right into the Q&A. Where and how does Jack lift when you guys are traveling? Well, he works out at the gym of Jack. Jack does sit-ups and push-ups and pull-ups, and he does uh, 
planks all the time. No matter where we're at on the boat, if he's got five minutes to spare, he is sitting there in a plank position or doing a setup or doing a pull-up all the time. Finn does them right there with him, and Kate's so hyperactive, she just goes all the time. She doesn't have to work out. She just stays fit. And obviously, they're taking a little note from me to be slim and muscular. And then the sloth, I would change your name because that doesn't show that maybe you, you maybe need to be working out. I don't know. <laughs> I used to be the sloth. I've lost a little weight. And that's another great question. Everybody wants to know, how did I lose all that fat? Well, you guys aren't going to believe the answer to it, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I got home. We got home back to the ranch of Montana December 19th, or we got back home in November of 2019. And then we spent some time with family in Dallas, and then we went up to our ranch in Montana. And I stepped on the scale in Montana December 19th and was horrified and shocked to see that I had truly become the fat <laughs> that everybody was calling me. Now, I didn't see it when I was looking in the mirror. All I saw was Tom Cruise when I looked in the mirror. You all have that problem? Does your mirror lie to you? Because my mirror lied to me. My wife lies to me. She says, oh, you look fine. You look the same as you've always looked. But I weighed 300 and... What was it, 310 pounds? 305. I weighed 305 when I stepped on the scale there in Montana. And I was feeling horrible. I was feeling bad. And so on December 19th of 2019, I decided I would go on a fast. And I started fasting water only, nothing else, water only. And I fasted for 44 days. And I didn't eat nothing for 44 days. And I was going to go 50 days, but the last four days of that, that fast, day 41, 42, 43, and 44, we were skiing every day at Big Sky, Montana, and I hadn't eaten in 40 days, 41 days. And by the end of those 44 days, I was so drained that I had to eat something, so I started eating a little bit there. I still have about 50 pounds more. I want to weigh 185 is where I want to be. The other thing I wanted to be able to do, I wanted to be able to get in a regular kite harness, chest harness, instead of the old diaper harness for fatties like me. And so now I can get in a, a XL kite harness real easy. Uh, all my shirts are now XL or 2XL, not 4XL, 3XL, 4XL. My shorts are 36s, and I could wear a 34. They'd be a little tight, but 36s fit me really nice now, whereas I was wearing 42s. But I took a multivitamin supplement pill, just one pill every day after about day 20. Uh, people ask, weren't you tired? Weren't you wore out? How did you even live? And, and at, to tell you the truth, I was feeling so bad before I started that fast, that I actually started feeling better. About day 20 of not eating, I started feeling really good. And even at day 44, I felt really good. I was just tired and wore out. But I actually felt better at the end and during that fast than I ever did before that when I weighed 305. So that's a great question from all you guys who have asked how much, and I've lost about 85 pounds. I'm pretty extreme when I do things. And, and so I do things in extreme ways. And and I don't eat sugar no more. Sugar's out of my diet. Cokes are out of my diet. Dr. Peppers, I had to say goodbye to the one love of my life is Dr. Peppers. And uh, that hurt. But the kidney stone hurt worse up there in Tonga. Y'all remember that? It's been a journey. It's going to continue to be a journey. And when I get to 185, I'll take some uh, body pics. I'll get naked, run around the boat. You guys can see what a man looks like on fire. Thank you for, uh, thanks y'all for all asking and noticing that uh, I have a slimmer figure now. Next question is from Shovelhead223. Awesome video and great experiences for the kids. Are all of these upgrades through free sponsorship, decking lights, sales, etc.? Well, that is a great question. A lot of people want to know. Uh, a lot of the upgrades are from partnerships and sponsorships. There are things we were going to do anyway to the boat, and we were going to pay to do those things. But thankfully, we have a YouTube channel, and products that we really like, we do do partnerships with. Now, we don't do partnerships with somebody who wants to give us something free just because they want to give us something free. We, we pass on deals all the time because... We're not in here to get a bunch of free stuff, but anytime we, we're we going to give marketing and advertising away for a product that we were going to buy anyway, we, we, we definitely take advantage of, of what our YouTube channel can get us. And, and like I said, the decking is great. FlexiTeak, that's what I was going to buy for the boat, regardless of a partnership, but we did get a partnership with FlexiTeak on that. Uh, we did get partnerships with the lighting on the boat, uh, which is fine. Uh, and we were going to buy the lights anyway. So without those partnerships, we might not have done a lot of the things we've done this year. It's because I just don't have all the money in the world like uh, some people have. You guys out there who aren't subscribed but do watch, please subscribe because that helps us get better partnership deals. It helps us get better sponsorship deals. And it helps us keep the show rolling and gives us some content when we're installing stuff and doing those installs. So uh Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Once again, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching this show. And as always, I look forward and we look forward to seeing you guys out there on the water.